playlist waiting changes and no update until after dreamhack for the halo finals for the mcc and also for halo 5 big team battle and warzone assault possibly being removed stay throughout the video you know all the little details how's it going everybody it's kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary today we're talking about some news updates for halo i thought i was gonna be able to chop this up into multiple videos but it looks like just enough information for just one video so guys we're gonna do some mcc and some halo 5 information updates so let's get right into the video here but before we do if you like these news information videos please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this I'll leave a comment down below what your guys thoughts are on these updates and if you're new to the channel we'll stay up to date anything Halo related, tap subscribe with the bell to let you know whenever we upload anything awesome on the channel, which is going to be every time. But anyways, guys, let's get right into the video here. So as mentioned in the beginning of this video, there has been a change in the weighting of gameplays. I mean, weighting as in how often a game mode is played within certain ranked players. This is specifically for the team arena players. So that's Halo 4, 3, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 2 Classic, and CE. So all these team arena modes have been now favoring more team deathmatch, or I should say team slayer. Uh, just because a lot of people have been finding that it's a little, it's a great variety. Don't get me wrong. I really like the variety. And personally, I really enjoy it. But mostly people want to hop on and play some slayer. And so now what 343 has done is that they've weighted the team slayer game mode in these ranked modes a little heavier. So most of the time you'll be playing team slayer, but with a good mix of different objective modes as well. Personally, I think this is a a really good move. I think that since you don't really have a choice to play what mode you want to play, I think a good base is just to play Team Slayer since that's the kind of the core aspect of what Halo is. is 4v4 Slayer. And if you get that and give that to the people, people will want to play the game more and more. I know that a lot of people, at least a lot of my friends as well, they just, they just want to play Slayer, you know, and I personally really enjoy the game modes that are mixed in with like different objectives because I really like Team Slayer and Oddball and King of the Hill and all those other great modes. And so I have no problem with it, but sometimes you kind of just want to play Team Slayer and have it be ranked. And so luckily with Ness now with MTC, you'll be getting more Team Slayer with your modes. I think it's just a good move because I think it kind of caters more to the core audience, which is like a Team Slayer. Uh, type of game which has always been like the core aspect of what halo is so i'm all for this change but if you guys are upset about this well, let me know in the comment section down below how many guys were like i want more ctf or something like that you know come on let me know in the comments i do read all of, all of them and try to reply to most of them as well and while we're staying on the topic of the mcc as we all know there are some changes going on with the insider program testing some things out there's gonna be no update to the mcc whatsoever until after the dream hack so then this way it does not affect the halo 3 2v2 showdown that's happening there they don't want to make any drastic changes to the mcc while people are trying to grind out and trying to get better at halo 3 trying to figure out how they get you know brush up the skills and all that good stuff so i am all for that i think it's a good mood to kind of just wait until the you know the competitive season is done then you can go ahead and make all the changes you want to make i think that uh, you know, changing things up on pros last minute is a bit of a rushed move. Don't have anything to look forward to when it comes to patches until after DreamHack, which is happening the weekend of the 16th. So definitely keep an eye out for that. I will be streaming it out on Twitch. I'll be hosting the Halo channel. So if you guys want to hang out and chat with me there, link is in the description down below to my Twitch if you want to hang out and watch some Halo. And uh, it should be a great time. I'm definitely looking forward to it, especially since it's going to be the last Halo 5 event. And yeah, so you got, you know, I'll be watching that for sure. Now on to the Halo 5 news. Like I mentioned on the top of this video that Warzone Assault is going to be removed, kicked out right out of there, moved more into a rotational playlist because, uh, well, apparently like not very many people are playing it. As in, it's even cited here that Josh Menke writes in his post saying that, well, it's actually been some days where people haven't even been able to play games in the playlist because the population is so low. Now Warzone Assault has always been a lower populated mode, but I guess now it's to the point where it's like, dude, it's actually just like not even worth like having in the game right now. So I understand removing it. I'll be sad because I really liked Warzone Assault. I just stopped playing it because I could never find matches in a decent amount of time. They're going to take out Warzone Assault and move it to more a rotational playlist because uh, they've seen that uh, generally with these rotational playlists, besides big team battle super fiesta which was a huge hit uh that most of the times these rotational players have a big population surge within the week first week week and a half and then it just kind of dies off to you know, what they expected so nothing uh, besides big team battle super fiesta 
no weekly plays has really kind of like brought people back to the game you know continuously they kind of play because it it's the new hotness and then they kind of drop it off now also like i mentioned there have been the idea of having big team battle one of the core game modes that's always been in halo on the chopping block right here when it comes to playlists being removed from halo 5. now the weird thing is though is that Big Team Battle has always been used as kind of like the bar when it comes to matchmaking times. Because it's, you know, populated enough where, you know, people can find matches, but not overly populated where you get really good matchmaking times if you're, say, if you're playing like Super Fiesta or Slayer. And so now they're looking at this going like, well, actually, the, the matchmaking times have gone down quite a bit to where it's kind of looking a little uh, iffy, especially with the Super Fiesta variant that's been in, and people have really been enjoying that a lot more than, or at least I should, I should say, at least playing it a lot more than Big Team Battle. So they're kind of thinking, well, maybe we should just kind of keep the Super Fiesta and then uh, remove Big Team Battle, re remove Big Team Battle out of the game altogether, which I can understand why the population is low. Having Warzone and Big Team Battle in the same game it's conflicting because it's similar types of gameplay as in large scale vehicle gameplay, but one has rec points and a system like that, and the other one is just regular old Halo, which I prefer, but that's a different topic right there. So Josh Menke writes out in the post uh, the plan of what they're going to be doing with the big team battle playlist. So one, monitor it as we enter the holiday season. If the holiday traffic is enough to keep it alive, we'll leave it up and reconsider a future, reconsider its future in January. And two, begin work on a refresh. If Big Team Battle can hang on long enough, we will see how well it does after a refresh before moving it into a rotational playlist. And or three, if these both fail, BTP shouldn't be an exception given how much better every other playlist has done as a rotation when it starts behaving this way. So basically they're saying, we're gonna kind of keep an eye on this until you know the holiday season kind of goes over. And if it doesn't really do any better getting surges of gameplay, uh, we'll kind of have to reconsider it. Personally, I would much rather have a refresh happen than completely remove it or have it as a rotational playlist. I would be, honestly, it would be terrible. You know, I think Big Team Battle is getting a really unfair shake when it comes to the situation because Big Team Battle has been basically left alone in its state for at least a year, maybe more. I can't remember the last time there was a BTB refresh. I mean, I have to probably look through my video catalog so I'm sure I made a video about it, but like, it's been so long. And also given the fact with the lack of updates and the state of the battle rifle in Halo 5, which is atrocious. It's like seriously the least fun gun to shoot in Halo 5 after the last patch for the game that people have, I'm sure have just kind of gravitated away from Big Team Battle. I certainly have. I used to play it quite a bit actually. I really enjoyed playing Big Team Battle but uh, the way the battle rifle plays I really don't like you know shooting the gun and that's kind of like their main that's the base weapon you're going to be using in that game mode and so I'd much rather see uh, like an update with maybe some new maps and also a weapon change either having the uh, stabilization jet battle rifle a pistol just literally anything besides the default battle rifle um, I even read a, a, a Twitter post a Twitter feed that was going back and forth between vetoed and Josh Menke talking about how the stabilization jet battle rifle just not good for big team battle which is kind of sad uh, they said from 343 said through their play testing and noticed that uh that the stabilization jet battle rifle it's just too much of a laser beam and you can cross map people and you just you know you get killed very quickly and very easily and which is not fun because it completely ruins the distance of the map because if everyone just spawns with the laser beam basically like a three round burst sniper rifle well then yeah there's like the, no point to having such a large map where you can just kill anybody at any range we had new maps you put a new starting weapon in there, more people will come back to play the game. I think uh, 343's kind of left this mode to rot a little bit. And so hopefully moving forward, they'll fix it and we get to keep Big Team Battle because I prefer that over Warzone. And for here, for Halo 5, we get to see the most popular playlists in Halo 5. So let's get right into it. This is judged on a time played rather than a uh, population. So it kinda, I think it's probably the most fair way to look at, look at it. So as number one, of course, Super Fiesta, and then you have Slayer, Castle Wars number three, Big Team Battle Super Fiesta number four, Heroic Warzone Firefight number five, then you have Warzone, Quick Play, Infection, Team Arena, SWAT, Legendary Warzone Firefight, 
Big Team Battle, Ranked Doubles, Mythic Warzone Firefight, Griff Ball, Free For All, Elimination, Warzone Assault, and then Warzone Warlord. Now we probably had a population spike or at least a gameplay spike when it came to infection due to it being around the holiday season of Halloween and they had a certain specific playlist just for that game mode. So that would make sense a bit of a boost. Big Team Battle Super Fiesta is super awesome. Castle Wars is a fan favorite and so it's on a rotation so now people are playing it right now. So you can see Big Team Battle is not getting the love that it needs right now for play time. So that's why they're kind of considering it uh, something to possibly remove because uh, even though like it's above elimination and free-for-all they said they're going to keep elimination no matter what because there are accommodations to be obtained by playing breakout and that's the only way you can play breakouts by playing the elimination playlist and to keep free-for-all because really they kind of say that people still play competitively and that it basically I feel like they're just trying to make a reason why like well every game needs a free-for-all mode so that's everything going on in Halo for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you thought about the updates and the changes potentially having the big team battles and you know Wars and Assault and all the changes coming for MCC. And if you're new to the channel, stay up to date with anything related to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to keep you up to date with anything on the, on the channel. If you're new to the channel and want to see some more content from me, you can check out the videos on the screen right over here. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.